How to edit your photos on your phone. What's up guys, my name is Brad and today we're gonna to learn how to edit our photos only using our iPhones. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already doing this, but I'm about to upgrade your game. A lot of us are taking photos for Instagram or social media and we don't have the time or the resources to take those photos on our computer and all the expensive programs to be able to edit them and spice them up. So I'm gonna show you guys a few quick tips and tricks to be able to do it all on your phone. Hang around to the end of the video because I have a little gift for you guys. That seems super sexual. First thing guys, to save you a ton of time and headache in the editing process, is make sure you're taking the best photo possible. Make sure you're doing the right things and you know the fundamentals. If you wanna learn more, I have another video on how to take better photos with your phone, which I'll leave a link below, and that's the best place to start because like I said, it's gonna save you a ton of time in the editing process. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna show you how to do is edit only using your phone and the tools inside uh, the photo editing app. Here's a selfie of me. I hate selfies. I never take them, I never post them, but I did it for you. So first thing I wanna show you is make sure you're shooting live because if you shoot live or with live photo on, you can scrub through a bunch of different frames because it basically gives you like a second of leeway when you're taking your photo. So here's the photo I took, but this is a better frame that I like so I'm gonna hit make key photo. And a lot of times guys, your photo can be out of focus or the lighting can be off, whatever it is. And shooting live can save you because you literally have that leeway. So I'm gonna go with a different frame. And what I like to do when I'm editing my photo just using the uh, iPhone app is I like to pick the filter first and then go in and dial it in from there. So I don't know, I like this filter. It's kind of like a warm or a desaturated look. Um, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, this brilliance tool is actually really cool. If your photo is dark, it'll brighten it up and make it look really nice. I'm actually gonna um, add um, a little bit of contrast to this image and then um, saving highlights. If something is blown out, you can save your highlights. Um, but sometimes what that does is it will saturate the image. So what I usually do is come to my vibrance and I desaturate that just a little bit. Um, and then the other thing you can do, I always add a little bit of sharpness to my photos. Um, and then you can do the noise reduction, which is almost like a skin smoother, which I'll just do a tad bit of that. Sometimes less is more, guys. I like subtle changes to my photos. A lot of times I'll scroll through my gram and people are blasting themselves with like skin smoother filters and going nuts and it just looks so fake. So don't be that guy or girl. So one thing you can do to add a bit of a skin smoother to your selfies or your photos, or if you just want a smooth look, is you can bring the photo that you just edited into the story feature on your Instagram and just swipe right once and it's the Paris filter. And the Paris filter I think is a great skin smoother, but it just doesn't overdo it. It doesn't mess with the colors too much. You can see that it did kind of add a bit of a magenta to our photo, but I actually think it looks better. So, and then just save it, and then, you know, you could take that photo um, and post it to your page or your Facebook or your Twitter or whatever else you're doing. It doesn't have to be on your story. Just, even if it's horizontal or landscape, put it in, add the filter, save it, and then post wherever you want. So yes, guys, there are some amazing tools right inside that photo editing app in your iPhone, but if you wanna go to the next level, download Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom Mobile is a mobile version of a, a really good photo editing program that most photographers use on their desktop, and this is just a mobile version of it. It's completely free. Go to the App Store, type in Lightroom Mobile, and this editing app is incredible. It has everything that you need. So you can import your photos. You can see that I've already imported my photos, um, and let's edit one. Let's take this one. This is uh, my girlfriend on a beach in Monterey. I know this can be intimidating sometimes. There's a lot of features in here and a lot of things that you can do, but don't get overwhelmed. Just watch my Lightroom Mobile editing video and you will master Lightroom Mobile. So the couple cool things about this app is one, like I said, it's completely free and you have every single tool that you would want when you're editing your photos. And then the best thing about this app is presets. So I promise you, every one of your favorite photographers or Instagram 
influencers, whatever they are, they're using presets. This is the secret sauce. So I have my presets uh, from my uh, desktop version of Lightroom loaded right into uh, the mobile version. And so when I have photos, I just import all of them, apply my presets across the board, and it saves me a ton of time. So you can learn your own you know, style of editing right there in Lightroom, make your own preset, or you can purchase presets and save them within the app, and it's gonna save you a ton of time. So with using my preset, I think that looks pretty good. You can toggle that on and off by just clicking the screen and seeing the before and after, but I'm pretty happy with that. So, so next you would come up to the top and you would export to camera roll. So once you're happy with the photo that you just edited in Lightroom Mobile, go to your app store and download Lens Distortions. This is the cherry on top. So once you have Lens Distortions downloaded, by the way, it's completely free. You can find it in your app store and just do the trial, do the free trial and that's gonna have everything that you're gonna need. So you can add cool lens flares, lens effects, you can add light rays, you can add this cool thing that I have never used, but one day I will. You can add fog, rain, snow, whatever you want. Um, so with this photo, I would just keep it simple. There's not much you, know, you could really add that would make sense in this one, but this lens flare actually looks really cool and if you just click you can toggle back and forth on the before and the after. You can have complete control over your effect and again guys this is all in the free version. Here's some other photos that I've edited purely in this app that have turned out pretty amazing. This is an, an astronaut guy on a motorcycle. There's the before, there's the after. I edited that um, in Lightroom Mobile, brought it into the Lens Distortions app, added the flare on the motorcycle, added the snow, and I think that that's pretty cool all just using your iPhone. Here's another photo that I took in Joshua Tree, uh, and the headlights weren't working on the Bronco. And in Photoshop, this would have taken me forever, but I just imported it into the Lens Distortion app, added in those headlights, and spiced it up. Uh, here's another one, just added a nice little flare um, underneath just to add a cool little effect. Um, here's a before and after of Big Sur where I added in a flare coming in from the right side and some fog um, or clouds on the left side. So that app is one of my favorites. Definitely get that one and step your game up. So the next thing I want you to do guys is go to the App Store and download another app, 100% free, and it is called MADE, M-A-D-E. And this is an amazing way to elevate your Instagram stories or any of your vertical content. So basically in here they have a bunch of awesome templates that you can use um, that are so cool. Literally like these film ones, those are my favorite. Um, they have like this scrapbooking one that's really cool. A bunch of like really clean basic ones. Um, you know, one for travel, uh, have definitions. This one is really cool with this like torn book page effect. Um, but let's just do one real quick. Let's say this film one, all you do is click on the template you wanna use, and then we would go and import some photos. Let's say we select a few photos from this trip, and all you do is select them and hit the check mark, and once they import, it'll populate right inside the squares, and you can edit, move around. You can actually even add filters and have full control over your your photos in this app if you want. So you can even add text. So if you just come in here on the left hand side, yay, I can't type. We're having fun today. You can have, there's literally all these cool texts. Uh, what's up? And then you would just hit share and save page. And that will save it right to your camera roll. And boom, now you have a crispy image to post to your Instagram story. So here's an example of how I use that app from a photo shoot. I just think these, these like stack things are so cool. And it's a way to post um, a bunch of pictures from one shoot. So on my Instagram, I only posted, you know, two or three photos in a stack. But with this, I had two story posts where I was able to post eight additional photos and share those uh, photos on my story. So for your gift today, guys, I'm going to edit your photos. Email me your photos, first 10 people, I'll edit it for free and send you a walkthrough of how I did it. Just send me in the description what kind of look or vibe that you're going for. Hope this helped guys, like and subscribe and I will see you next week.